I don't know how fast or slow this video is going to be. It's also very dangerous. Don't do this. I really want to know what disapproved from working inside of this power supply. So I'm going to try to take it apart today, discharge those caps potentially if they have any charge in them, and uh, see what actually failed. Because so far on the surface, we can't see what failed, but it nearly... Look, it was like I got flashbanged because my ears were ringing for a good half hour after it. That's how loud it popped. So this is dangerous. Don't do this. Be Quiet is proud to introduce their all new light mount and dark mount ultra silent mechanical keyboards. Optimized for an ultra quiet typing experience with factory lubricated silent linear or tactile switches and three separate layers of sound damping. Light mount features a full size keyboard with an aluminum media wheel and five macro keys for streamlined access, while dark mount provides a more modular keyboard with hot swappable numpad and media dock. Both feature sleek aesthetics, hot swappable switches, ARGB lighting, and a magnetic palm rest and are the perfect choice for those who demand comfort, customization, and silence. For more details, visit the sponsored link in the description below. I only got one glove. I'm hoping this has been unplugged long enough now. I'm really hoping that it will be fine. So here's the thing that's dangerous. I love how you get the glove and then immediately grab it with your bare hands. Well, it's because it's the right hand and I'm right-handed. So I'm going to want to use my right hand for, and these are not the best like gloves for this. They are rubber though, which is helpful at least. Um, these are insulated screwdrivers. This is when I, when I used to work in electrical, this is like what we use to reach in panels and stuff. So they can't accidentally bridge things. But uh, what's really dangerous are these capacitors right here. They hold a lot of volts and a lot of capability to literally kill you. you they will stop your heart. So this is a very, uh, this is scary, but I'm still gonna try it. I wanna get to the bottom of these capacitors because I wanna measure them to see if they have any uh, juice left in them right now. I'm really hoping that these caps are discharged though, because that would make it a whole lot safer. Electric Boom's like, first time? Yeah. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> that works. I don't want it to touch anything on the way out. <laughs> Whoa, look at the bottom. Jeez. That's a lot of circuitry. And honestly, now way more dangerous than it was a moment ago. <laughs> <laughs> so let's hang on to that. <laughs> That's... Okay, so the caps are right there in the middle. So I'm assuming these are... Probably gonna be the caps right there, 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 and there. There, there, and there. <laughs> 151 volts. <laughs> it is very alive and dangerous. It's been off for like, it's what, been off for tw 24 hours at least. Mm, yeah, close, yeah. Well, I don't have a way of discharging this. I mean, besides shorting them. I'm not shorting a cap that big. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Just well, we know the caps didn't pop. Yeah, they're still holding charge. They are very much still holding charge. Yeah, because it's a hundred. We're 120 volt system right here, so they're still fully charged. They've not discharged at all since all this happened, which makes me wonder if whatever popped has like broken the circuitry to the point to where there's nothing flowing. Yeah, so we can't discharge. So there's nothing to discharge them. They'll just sit here and hold this power like. Pretty much forever. I feel like being extra careful now because um, I should have always been extra careful. But my point is, my my what I started to say is how naive I am. Just assumed they probably were bad. So what broke now is is going to remain a mystery because I'm not going to dig farther into this thing. That loud of a pop, I feel like it had to be like a, major, a big component. Yeah. So it's I think it's either going to be. Potentially what's under this heat sink. One of these coils, looks like this is a, well, these are coils here, but I don't know what this is. Capacitor? Yeah, no, these are capacitors. I have no idea what these things are. Transformer, maybe? Maybe, because it's got to step down, obviously, from AC to DC. It's got to convert. Well, it's a rectifier. Yeah, you got your rectifier here. Rectifier, uh, <laughs> rectum. Yeah, that's, the, that's 150 reasons why you shouldn't do this. Now, all three caps are good, because these are the three caps right here. But the plane to this direction seems to be dead. This is what died. This died. What? Where? This. This died. Because I can see one pin of that. 
is this pin right here. I shouldn't reach with that hand. <clears throat> this pin right here is the inside pin on this. And then these pins are the other side of it. And then it goes to here, which then goes into, so it goes from here to here to here to there to there is what it looks like. So, yeah. Whatever that big component is. This right here. Yeah, because it, it should be getting power from, like getting voltage or something from the caps right now, I would assume, because the other side does. Yeah. Because if we test this side, which of the other sides I already showed you, right? Yeah, 150 volts. Yeah, 150. It does seem like somewhere in here. Yep. Is what died. And I just, I can't see any of it. Like, I can't see in there. Which makes me sad. Because I wanted to see guts. <laughs> All right. Speaking of guts, before I uh, barbecue mine, <laughs> I'm going to... <laughs> Why did I think of the Starship Troopers when they, like, teleported the bug inside out? <laughs> oh, yeah. Explodes. Before I, I hurt my guts, I'm going to go ahead and put this back in here. Close it up, tape it up or something, mark it real good, and get this over to an e-waste facility. What? Plastic. Yeah, I know. I was grabbing Plastic. the liner. Plastic! <laughs> <laughs> I know I need the liner. Uh, so yeah, that was entertaining to me, maybe not to you, but uh, I learned something today. That the caps absolutely can and do hold on to a good amount of charge <laughs> for that could have been deadly, quite honestly. And that sucks. That board would have been fun to play around with trying to solder things on. They could solder wires for fun, you know, but whatever. Um, yeah, so I think this is where you guys can sound sound off. I Some of you guys might already have paused this video, found a schematic for this, and you can tell me now whether or not I was on the right track or not. I suspect, I think this is a transformer. And Nick's over there going, ah, ah, because I'm all like <laughs> waving around with the metal one. Uh, I believe, we believe this is a transformer. That also looks like it comes right in off the 12 volt right here. Or not 12 volt, but the DC. Damn it, yeah, AC. And I do believe this to be dead. Because that whole, this whole area, there, 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 and there are not getting power from the caps, but this side is. So we think the connection between the capacitors over here died. Somehow. And there's also that yellow stuff on top, which I think is just purely coincidental. But, um... I have no idea what the transient spike is that made this thing go pop. But I can tell you this, I learned that the 1000 watt BIOS is not a 1000 watt BIOS. It is a 1600 watt BIOS. If you want to know what the actual power limit of your stuff is, you can open command prompt in Windows by Windows key R, and then type NVIDIA, N-V-I-D-I-A, dash S-M-I, space, dash Q, and it will actually tell you everything that's in your firmware for your BIOS, and it will tell you what your max power limits and all that stuff are. When I did that, this one on this BIOS said, 1000 watts is the standard power limit, with 1600 watts as its max limit. Considering this is a 1500 watt power supply, and this, the CPU is not under very much load at all when it does the 3D mark stuff, it's probably pulling maybe 100 watts, tells me whatever that transient spike was, was so high and so rapid that even overcurrent protection could not happen fast enough on this system. And I have sprayed water, like doused water on components to trigger OCP to show you guys how good OCP is in modern stuff so that your components don't die. I really wish I knew what the numbers were because it showed 1108 watts at the time that the system shut off, but that doesn't mean that it doesn't pull fast enough to catch the transient spikes. We have no idea what the true amps and stuff were because if I do the math, we were at 1108 watts, right? We were at 1108 watts where it stopped reporting if you watched that previous video. And I divide that by the amps, which I believe was 496, shows a 2.23 volt spike of some sort, just if those numbers made sense. And I don't think it went to 2.23 volts because we know that the GPU would not have survived that. So I have no idea what happened. It would have been great to, to know, but all right, time to be safe and put this away where it can't hurt nobody. If you guys have pulled up the schematic for the HX1500i, tell me if we were on the right track. 
All right, guys, thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one.